Welcome back to VIP Access. With a 50 million US dollar budget and less than a year to shoot the movie, I Am Number no. 4 is the biggest effects movie ever for director DJ Caruso. But with producer Michael Bay's experience and invaluable help, Caruso managed to keep it real by combining real life trauma with otherworldly abilities. But I find it irritating. Jesus, dude, you are so Well, I'm number four is more, it's a young adult novel, basically, that's sort of got a little groundswell and, and people are starting to get into it. And so basically, when we were starting, we only had the manuscript, the novel had not come out yet. We're not really sure what the fanboys or, or the people are hooked into in the novel, so when we started to change a few things. What's your name? John Smith. Where are you from? Toronto. So you've got a tan for Toronto. Santa Fe, New Mexico. I know the drill, okay? Keep this on you, I'll call you every hour. If you don't pick up, I know something's wrong. John lived on Earth since he's been about four years of age, and, and so all the feelings that he, uh, that he has are, are human. By falling in love with Sarah, the more these legacies start to kick in, the things that he doesn't really want in his life. What's this? Um, that is kind of private, actually. Amazing. At the beginning of our relationship, and there's no, there's no guards up. We are both so open with each other. And then she realizes once she's sucked in, oh, he's got some interesting abilities. You have no idea what I'm capable of. She might be scared, but she summons this courage, and she she goes for it. And number six as well. None of the women in this film are are wimps. Who are you? Number six. I feel like Six is such a wonderful role model for women. She's so strong and she's a female warrior and she comes in and saves the day. I've always wanted to be in an action movie like this and definitely I was looking forward to the entire film. I was looking forward to holding the gun and shooting someone. That was fantastic, I had a great time. It's very overwhelming, but at the same time, you just got to focus on the movie that you're making at hand. And, uh, you know, um, I just think it was such a great opportunity. And I had so much fun making it. Man. You want to make one great standalone movie, and it has a beginning, middle, and end, and you just go to work every day and do the best you can. You know there's going to be other books. You don't know if there's going to be other movies. So you just try to make this movie the best that you can and keep your head down. You really just focus on, on the task at hand and, and hope that the rest of it takes care of itself. The war in Lorien may have ended, but the battle still wages on Earth in a cinema near you. Well, that's it for this action-packed adventure, but be sure to log on to our Facebook page for more one-on-one -on -one interviews with Alex Pettifer and the rest. If you're interested in getting your hands on some exclusive movie digs from I Am Number 4, then simply log on to facebook.com slash starmoviesvipaccess. All right, next time on VIP Access, we're going to sucker punch you with Zack Snyder's latest action fantasy. Until then, this is Deso signing off. Have fun in the movies, everybody. What are you looking for? A way out. I'm going to help you to be free. You will need to find five items. The first is a map. Then fire. a knife, and 
and a key. The fifth thing is a mystery. Begin your journey. It will set you free. He knows what we're doing. It's the only way we can get out of here. If you don't stand for something, you'll fall for anything. <laughs> <laughs>